Ukraine is on the cusp of launching its long-awaited counteroffensive against Russia, yet the United States and its NATO allies are once again foot-dragging. They reportedly are leaving Ukraine short of the weapons it needs to definitively succeed. The latest example is Ukraine's allies not providing critically important mine-clearing vehicles. Steve Danner, a former U.S. Army engineer, told the Washington Post, I'm really nervous that Ukraine is not equipped to deal with these extensive obstacles. More infuriating is when Danner pointed to the absence of a type of U.S.-owned armor digger, the Israeli-developed IDF Caterpillar D9. He said they were, quote, just rusting away in Kuwait storage units. That sounds like a good place for him during a critically important war. Sergei Matvichuk, a colonel in Ukraine's Directorate of Engineer Troops, told the Washington Post that the best mine-clearing vehicle is the M150 assault breacher vehicle. Ukraine has urged Washington for these crucially important machines, yet they have not been sent. Why? Matvichuk described the troubling situation. Despite the significant amount of weapons provided to Ukraine to repel the aggressor's attack, the problematic issue is the provision of engineering units with engineering tanks and other technologies which are used to clear mines. Biden has done a masterful job leading the NATO coalition against Russia, but he has at times been too slow to deliver the weapons needed for Ukraine to quickly secure victory. The U.S. is way too worried about what will Vladimir Putin think? What will Vladimir Putin do? The Russian dictator has few cards to play. His failed military is a paper tiger. As Secretary of State Antony Blinken joked in Helsinki this week, Russia's military, once considered the second strongest in the world, was now the second strongest in Ukraine. Yes, Putin has the nuclear option. We are all concerned about that. But newsflash, we have nukes too. If Putin is truly insane and his position is that he gets to annex any country that he desires or he will blow up the world, well, we are ultimately doomed. If he has a terrorist and a nuclear vest, this isn't going to end well. So now that Putin's military has been exposed as overrated, let Russia worry about our moves rather than us hand-wringing about theirs. NATO took way too long to send tanks and agreed to train Ukrainian pilots on Western fighter jets like the F-16. We have yet to agree to send Ukraine attackums, which are deadly long-range missiles with a reach of 190 miles. Our reticence has led to more Ukrainian deaths and prolonging of this bloody conflict. Time is of the essence. If a Republican wins the White House in 2024, Ukraine will likely be handed over to Putin like it's an appetizer of Russian caviar. Ron DeSantis downplayed the war as a territorial dispute before having to backtrack after enormous criticism. Donald Trump is a fully owned subsidiary of Putin Inc. Does anyone not think the corrupt former president would abandon Ukraine in a nanosecond if Putin offered him a sparkling new Trump Tower in Moscow or a lucrative golf course in St. Petersburg? Ukraine is the front line of freedom. For the long-term safety and security of the free world, they must be victorious. If Ukraine ends up as a Russian province, Putin will be emboldened for further conquest, and we will all be at risk. If this dire scenario occurs, the world will be a significantly more dangerous place and infinitely more hospitable for tyrants, which is maybe why MAGA Republicans are rooting so hard for Putin. President Biden, please act expeditiously to provide Ukraine with the advanced weapons it desperately needs to decisively win this geopolitically consequential war.